I'm global head of HR uh, for Spotify, but also everything that touches the people constituents. So everything that has to do with people also sits with me, which might not be kind of the 100% uh, usual remit or, or uh, span of control. So I also have GVS, which is Global Workplaces Services. The last five years, I say, welcome to control chaos. And it has to do with the thing, if you think about an organization as a person, we were a toddler in the, in the startup phase, and then we became kind of a, a young adult. We were a teenager uh, in the scale-up phase, and now we are a young adult. We're quite scared to become a grown-up, because when you're grown-up, you don't, you don't dare or you're not as courageous of taking kind of, of, of daring bets. And we think that is very, a big part of our success. Um, being innovative is part of our DNA and we also think when people come together and try not to kind of master um, what is planned, you will continue to innovate in a very smart way. And one of our mantras in the band manifesto is also changes are constant. By having a bit of disruption, uh, we can also disrupt the, the business and the in industry. So it's one of those things of if you know that you will never know everything to 100%, you will also easy for you to fix things, come up with things, and also sometimes try things. So go back to Spotify's origin. Daniel and Martin didn't, they didn't come up with music. Music was already existing. They didn't come up with streaming or coding. That was also existing. But putting those together and ha teaching and also changing a behavior how we consume Audible was what they did, but they put them together in a different way. And that is one of the things that is our foundation. And that's why I say control to chaos. Mostly because people don't like change. Most people that say that they like change, they lie. Because it's, it's actually quite scary. It takes a lot of energy. Well, people don't have to necessarily like um, your decision but they have to understand it. So we we'll put more focus on trying to explain why we're doing things or why we're changing things or what's happening, you know, in the competition and also in the market. Because in life too, it's very, very much uncertainties. So it's a very deliberate way. It's not that we are lazy and don't want to get all the processes and all things in the right part of, of the cabinet or in, in, in the office. It's more but we think it actually makes people much more prepared for the unknown. So we have something that we is called Unplugged with Daniel, where he talks a bit about what's on top of his mind to everybody, not to, to top management, he talks to everybody. And also it opens up uh, with um, questions from all employees. So there's like, kind of, in a structured way, there is a communication between all employees where they can ask questions. Well, that is not 100% true because if you are a total global company and you have offices from Sydney to San Francisco or LA, somebody is sleeping when we have unplugged. But what they can do, they can put in questions into Slido and then next morning they have what they call uh, watching breakfast where they see the, the unplugged and then they hear their questions uh, read by somebody else and then also answered. So that is one thing that we have with the cadence. The second thing that we have is something we call town halls, which is on, to on, on a specific to topic with all of the executive team. Kind of the same thing, information from the executive team, but also questions asked uh, or Q&A from all, all our people to all uh, the executive team. Then we have all hands, which is on a, um, department level. And then we have uh, also, a, it's not an intranet, but it's almost like Facebook, but for workplace. So everybody is urged to put in information. So kind of each one teach one. So it's not just managers or top management. It's everybody can put an, anything up there to educate each other what's happening in their part of the world and vice versa.